Team Talk TV with myself, Daps. Today we have Kim Bisco and we've got Jamie. Their socials will come up here at the bottom. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe to Team Talk TV. Hashtag let us know your thoughts. We're going to get straight into it. You got ready? Ready. Done. Okay, cool. So, first thing we're going to look at, um, what should we go with? United Pogba situation, Mourinho situation, everything about United. <sighs> Alright, so... I'm oh, a United uh, do, do, you want to, do you want me to ask the question first? Or, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah okay, okay, okay. Sorry, okay, it's, okay. A, it's a deep topic. It's a deep it topic. Me joy. <laughs> so, um, who just what? Arsenal. So we've got Arsenal man here and... Uh, United, of course. Okay, United. We've only got eight minutes, so we're, we're going to keep this very concise. So, um, obviously, things aren't going well for United. Um... Judging by the performance again, no one's really putting a performance in. Sanchez, you know, left out of the team. Lingard left out of the team. Was Lingard injured? It doesn't matter. No, but, you know, against West Ham as well, tactically we're looking at the way they set up was already negative, some might say. Disgusting. So, um, what are your views, in fact, because I know you're going to take long, what are your views <laughs> on that game as a whole and Mourinho and Pogba and everything? From what you saw, I don't think the Pogba thing is as important. I think Mourinho likes to he gets personal with like his players, all of them. He's beefed with every position from the keeper up to the striker. He'll beef them all for years. He's been doing it. You can't keep beefing your own players. None of his like team are riding for him. He's got no one on the inside except from Fellaini, <laughs> and Fellaini got no pull in the dressing room. So nobody's Mourinho. like Mourinho's pulling one way and Pogba's pulling another way, and the fans are leaning towards Pogba as well. But on that Pogba note, would you say that um, Manchester United are kind of lucky that Pogba is actually taking the heat? Because a lot of their players are just not performing. Under the radar. But, yeah, but Martial when you look at the new... Guys like Martial don't get any, like... They don't, he doesn't get as... They make excuses for guys like Martial and say, ah, oh, it's the manager. Guys like Lingard, they might make excuses for him. Bailly is like, ah, oh, like... He's not being coached. The same Shaw was getting it like it was a Mourinho problem that Shaw weren't performing. There will always be excuses for the players. They're, it's just, it's done. Like the whole Mourinho project, he can't ride it out. Okay, and um, on, like, bouncing, piggybacking off what he says, um, with Mourinho especially, I'm going to keep this short, keep it concise. Is his time up as a United fan? Is that just the answer, just to like get, let him go? End of the season, he can leave. End of the season, he can leave. He can leave. You don't think he can turn it around in that time? No. Do you know how well, bad it can get okay. in that time? D- this, this is me being pessimistic in it because for the last, what, seven games? Since the start of the season, I've said, I have no idea what's, what's going to happen. The three games that we've lost have all been games that we 150% should have won. The problems are going back to last season. We haven't adapted our style of play. Apparently, we didn't get the players that we wanted. Cool. You're not, the only, you're not the first manager in the league to not get your players. Okay, but even though he didn't get his players, would you say as well that with the players that he had, they're just not performing well? It's and, a good and, team. And, they, and you have to look at them. Obviously, you've got the tactics, but do you think, I think it was Sunez, no, no, I think it was Skulls that said the players there are just not good enough to carry out what they're supposed to be doing. I wouldn't take Skulls' as word, Greg. You wouldn't take Skulls' as word? We're going to get to Skulls later. I agree and I don't agree. I think there are certain players that need to go, that they are not up to scratch and they haven't been for the last three, four years. Chris Smalling, he's number one. He captains that side of dead players, bruv, that are literally robbing a living at this club. However, with what he's done since he's come in, the recruitment that he's brought in, we should not be having these problems. Like, we shouldn't be. Like, last season was an embarrassment. But as as well, sorry to sorry sorry so sorry to cut you off. But as well with last season, don't you also have to look at the fact that if City weren't as amazing as they were, United probably would have come close or even won it last last season. I but City a title challenge, yeah. But City were amazing. So anyone in any era of football would have struggled with that City team. So isn't that a bit harsh to, to well, say? What, who who was third? Who came third? And they were like what six points from us? Spurs. Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Our title push wasn't that great. But Liverpool what, last, also last had a good season. Though. 
Yeah, they had a all right season. Liverpool had a good season. They had a great if year. If you ask me, get to the final and come back with nothing. Mm. No, but even in the That's league. You're hating, man. How am I hating? Even in the league. league they did it. They had a what great year, What did they come in the league? Third. So. It was a good year, man. Is it? What's the comp- what do you mean? It was a good year for most They were Salah. happy. For most They Salah. were happy up until May. And you were unhappy in February. I think we were still second. You, when did you get knocked out by Valencia? Or who uh, knocked you out? Um, Sevilla. Sevilla. When was that day? March. March. From there, from March, your season was done. Yeah, finished. So they were happy till the last day of the season. No, That's what. The FA Cup. Oh, yeah, we did still have the FA Cup. Was you happy? Well, so was really. you hanging in okay. there? You know what I mean? It was, it was just the manner of which we so exited. It a, okay, because so it was to a, be fair, so I didn't want us, for the whole year. I didn't want us to year. beat Sevilla and then who did they get? Bayern Munich. Because that would have been uh, okay, okay. embarrassing. Okay, fair enough. I hear what you're saying. And just because we need to round all of this up, going back to the Pogba situation, how should we? Or how should we? How how do do? How does that situation get resolved or to they get the best out? Of it? They both have to. Leave. We need to protect to Pogba. You I agree, but him. I agree with what Jose said as well. No player is bigger than the club. Would you also Why say? Is he saying that? Would you no also say? Is sorry, sorry, than the club. Would you also say though that since Pogba has come, it's been very rare that you've seen. Five games of with him and in top four, has he really improved? That's funny. That's it's funny you mentioned that because we were talking about that in the group chat, and I agree. You might get three good games out of him. So why must you protect two, him at all costs? Because he if, is if, the if, catalyst if, within our team. If in the two years he's if he's the catalyst, if in the two years you know you haven't seen that, why why are we still calling him the catalyst? Why are we st- why are we still looking? Because no one else is coming to, and to, replacing him. There's no one else that can come in and do his job. But he's the not game doing against job, Derby, apparently. we were getting popped, absolutely popped. We had no one that could get on the ball and make things tick. But when Pogba's there, and you do have that player that can make things tick, and he's not doing it, why are we still saying we must still protect? And I'm not saying Pogba needs to go, or Pogba needs to stay. I'm just trying to look at your your way of thinking. When I, it comes I to just Pogba. I just feel like when he when he is playing and we're not playing well as a team. Yes, we all look at him like this guy is just doing the dumbest things. Like, we tried rip two, three man in our half, lose it, look at the ref, we won't get it, counters on, we might concede, we might not. But again, main influences like Zlatan essentially have left and have made his job a lot harder. The team around him is not performing. So, yeah, every game that we look at, most chances created and he will get an assist or two. Okay. Fact. Okay. Saying that, you're saying we've got big characters who have left, but you've also got people in that team who who should be able to, to help. So you've got your Sanchez, bearing in mind, yes, he's, he's off form. You've got, off form. You, you've got your... Sick. You've, you've got your... <laughs> he's sick. You've got your Nemanja Matic. He's coming from Chelsea and he was an, an accomplished player. He said... Hey. Still is an accomplished player. Thank you. Still is an accomplished player. Okay, so you've, you've got you've got experienced defenders, you've got Valencia, you've got Young, you've got Mata. So you have got players there who can... That's comedy, I swear that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, the, 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 point, the point I'm trying to make is that right now, we, we can say they're, they're off form or whatever, but at the end of the day, they've been there, done it, where they should, it shouldn't just all be on Pogba. No, if anything, there's a lot of players at that club that's passed it, and the players that they brought in that they thought was going to do well, Ashley Young should not be getting in a team that has been... Had had two hundred million pounds spent in it. Even though Ashley Young was probably one of the best players, the most consistent players last, last season. season. That, last says that says a lot. That says a lot. But all of a sudden, he shouldn't, well. he, he shouldn't. He shouldn't be in the team. He, sh- he, he doesn't make sense he for him to be in that team at his right age. Right now, you can't be spending two hundred and fifty million on a squad and playing an ex winger at <coughs> starting. Even if he's doing a job. No, he's I doing mean, a I'm, job. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not agreeing. I'm not, or, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. We're just lucky. Young. We're lucky that I'm not, he was he's doing performing. The job. He's doing a very way. good job. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying if if I'm spending 250 mil, how much does the, the squad cost? What? This is an expensive like squad. 250. To and you're telling million. me that the best fullback you have in that squad is a reinvented shadow striker. Well, sure, sure is. Um... <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's, what are United doing? Luke okay. Shaw's had his own problems from before okay, cool. Mourinho. We're going to have to wrap this segment up. We can keep going. Guys, let us know in the comments what you think of this debate. You know, hashtag Team Talk TV. And we'll be right back after this with another little topic for you guys. <laughs> guys, welcome back to Team Talk. Interesting debate that last segment. We're going to go straight into it again. We're going to keep this one. Oh, this is an, an interesting one. We're going to talk about Hazard. 
Hmm. Probably the most informed striker, I mean, sorry, informed player in the league right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Sari's talking about he's the best player in Europe, but not only really that, he's probably best player in the world now, at this moment in time, on, in, on form. Not the first manager to say that. Okay, what are we really saying about Hazard? Is he the real deal? Is Can we actually call him world class? I'm going to start with you on this one. So, it's interesting because last season, I was a non-believer. I said he's literally the level just behind world class. Like, when you start going to that patch of form where everything's absolutely banging for you and then people start to question, this guy could be the next thing. I feel that was him last season. This season, I think he's fully walked into world class title. Even he's though walked. he hasn't maybe achieved anything. What's what's there yet to achieve? No, no, no. But if it, how how can you walk into that? Into he's won the Premier League twice. That was two years. No, 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 no. But no, but if he weren't world class when he won the Premier League, why is it all of a sudden now? You know, he's walked into there, and in that time, he's walked into there. He's not won the Premier League. I believe he's carrying Chelsea, the I whole think, team, okay. by himself, and he's putting in consistent performances that we. So, not really so why can't we? Him. And I'm just throwing this out there. Why can't we put it down to form, and not class? Like that's that's just it. Why is it not form? Because all of this, all of this coming is, is has come in the last what four months. Yeah, it's come in the last four months where he's been outstanding. Why can't we not just put that down to form if he hasn't done it? I'm sure the for the last the two seasons, Ronaldo started absolutely sluggish. He might go seven games without scoring a differences, goal. Differences, differences. He finishes the season like the, the bulk With of the season. Numbers. The bulk of the season cool. is done and. His history already shows that he's done it. Yeah, so, cool. So we can't, Goals wise, we can't, stats wise. If Ronaldo but these has, are two different kinds of players. If Ronaldo has a bad season this year at Juventus, are we suddenly going to say he's not world class? No. Why? Because, all right, cool. Fair point. He's, he's got the history behind him. He's got the CV behind him to show that he is absolutely world class. Has Eden Hazard done anything to suggest that he's not world class? Yes. What? And, and what, what would you say he's, he's done to, <laughs> to well, say he's not world-class? He's had big patches of like disappearing for Chelsea. Chelsea came, where they come outside the top 10. Was it 12th? Well, they when, I think Mourinho. when Mourinho got sacked, they were outside the top 10. Yeah. I think they came up to 7th or 8th or something yeah. like that. Hazard was there the whole season. They he played. Other, there were other players around him. Yeah, but Costa was there. Okay, so when they won the league you, and Hazard, win, Hazard got his awards, they are not talking about the team being so good. They were dead. They bought Kante, and we're saying that he's won the league twice. But Kante won the league that year. The season that but he went through that rough like, patch. Yeah, he, that's a whole season. Yeah, but that's the not whole. A, but okay, the whole team. You just asked me for times where he showed he was a world class, and I did it. No, no, I don't re agree with that. So that season that Chelsea came seventh, he was a world. He was world class. I don't then. agree with that because as soon as the next manager came in, he stepped up again. Yeah, and then so he maybe, stepped down. But I think, I think, I think what what he's trying to say is if you're truly a world class player. You're not allowed seasons like that where you literally just drop off. And I think there were large. You drop off the whole season, though. Okay. Can you name me two outstanding moments from that season, from Hazard? Arsenal games. Okay, so if Hold he did, away. so you're saying that he he was you're, a mix. You really need to be outstanding. Y United, against, United, okay, against, United against games. Arsenal. United games. For the season, though. Oh, well, I asked you for for two, and you gave me two. To be honest, I did. But and and in that season, you you still think he was world class in that season. And okay, I doubted it at the time. Okay. I doubted it because of obviously reasons like Chelsea are bloody twelfth, so there's no way this guy can be considered. Okay, fair world enough. Class. So I'm sorry to cut you off, but what would you say he has to do to get to that next level of um, leave Chelsea? World class? You think he has to leave Chelsea? Yeah. He's auditioning right now. When he came to oh, Chelsea, God. Chelsea were the Champions League winners, mm -hmm. and they haven't reached that height since he's been there. So everybody's arguing that Chelsea was holding him back, that they've played negative football, that's why his numbers are low, that they've had internal problems in the squad, that's why his numbers are low. Definitely. So go to a team. So right now Chelsea are banging, but I don't think that Chelsea are going to challenge for big things in Europe. I think that he should have. I think that Belgium, with the team that was sold to me, Belgium should have beat France. Player for player, they're as good if not better. Because if we argue about De Bruyne or Pogba right now... In Hazard's defence... Yeah. Sorry to cut you off. In Hazard's defence... No, he had a banging World Cup. No, no but in, in Hazard's defence, in terms of <coughs> Belgium should have done more, he should have done more. It's similar. and Obviously, Hazard and Messi are on different levels. Mm -hmm. But Messi also, when it comes to international, with the team that they've got, mm -hmm. should have won way more international. Whoa, but whoa, whoa, whoa. there's only so much... Let's go back so to your much, point. Wait, no, his there's, point. There's only so much that... 
one that's player should one be able player to do. Should be able no, to I'm do. not saying that. So okay. why why didn't that why wasn't that the same point for Hazard in that season Ooh. when they came twelve? Wait, wait, wait. There's when, only so much you can do. We're right, saying as a we're saying that the the level that Barcelona play at with Messi and the level that Argentina play at is such a massive drop off. Personally, the person not up front, but like just in general from like the midfield down, mm-hmm. it's a massive drop off to what he gets at club level. So I can kind of see that. Belgium, the whole team is stouted with like the best centre half in the Premier League, okay, one so, of the best keepers so in the world. So when he leaves, the best centre mid so, in the so world. Not, not really. So if he leaves Chelsea now, yeah, and goes to a Real Madrid, mm-hmm. what would you want to see from Hazard that he's not really doing now? Just performance in the biggest games for the biggest club. So whenever they have their El Clasicos, whenever they have their big European nights, like be that, like they've had Ronaldo's, they've had Zidane's, they've had big players, whereby you have to perform at that level or you're, mm-hmm. you're out. So Bell can win the Champions League final however many years in a row and they question him. Would you, would you put Bale, sorry, would you put Bale above Hazard in terms of yeah. closeness to World to yeah. Plus? That's what I'm saying, because Bell yeah, does yeah, it consistently yeah. for the biggest club at the biggest moments, at the highest level. But when Chelsea, like, so what, is it a question of his club or him? No, but the argument is that his club is holding him back. I don't think so. I think he's just inconsistent within himself. Because right now the form that he's in is form that Aubameyang can do it. When we're talking about form, are we referring to performances? Or, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> there, there was a bit of love in putting that one. But anyway, are we referring to performances or numbers on the board? No, it's like. The performances now, he's played low minutes, he's come off the bench and so it's been like, okay, he can just express himself, like he doesn't have to do all the roles during a match. You're coming on with, with a certain scoreline, just do this for a certain amount of time. With Hazard's ability, you know what I mean, he, he can do it. But then we're talking like long games over like midweek weekend, midweek weekend, we're going to need big performances from you on both ends of the pitch. Have you seen, have you seen Hazard, and I'm, I'm just being impartial here, so I'm, I'm arguing both points. Have you seen Hazard, time and time again, be the best player in the league, be the best player for Chelsea, time and time again over the course of a season? I think it's or first two say, years. Or would you say it's it's happening in patches? I think it's first two years, undisputed. First two years, un- undisputed. undisputed. And then since then? It just got rocky. But there are factors. <laughs> Family season, can it be rocky? <laughs> two, two more. <laughs> the two seasons after that, when Mourinho came. First season, no. So first three even, because when Mourinho came, they won the league. Mm. Le- season after that, they came what? No, they even they didn't even win the league in his first season. They, I think they came, small, second, they came second or horses. third. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. But still, he was really performing. Mourinho said the same thing Sarri is saying now. Best player in the world. Mm-hmm. He even screamed for, we need protection. Everyone in the league knows this is the most dangerous player in the league. And they're targeting him. Second season, they won, they won the league. Big part of that. Third season, Mourinho syndrome. Third season syndrome, whatever you want to call it. So how many um, truly world-class players do you think we actually had in the league then? In, in, prim, in the Premier League however many we have he's definitely in that number but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to gauge your your your. if I was to list names off the top of my head De Bruyne Hazard Silva Aguero Aubameyang <laughs> I'm going to give it to him you don't have to I like him I like him I personally but like is him. he truly work okay you know he's what? Not, as a striker he's not he's not, he's not. He's, he's since, not. Since, don't since, do that to him don't since, do that okay. what? No, no, I just no, like no. him a lot we're, we're, we're gonna, the form we're, that he's brought from Dortmund over to Arsenal. Don't do okay. that. Don't do that. Don't we're going to we're going to have to we're going to we're going to we're going to have to wrap this up. We're gonna, this is what we've been talking about when it comes to world class. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have to wrap this up. I like him, but he's he's not world class. I think he's world class, man. If you like him, hey, you do that. That's your hat. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this whole Hazard being world class. Is he there yet, or is he not? Does he still have a long way to go? Let us know. Hashtag Team Talk TV. We'll be back with the start, sub, and sell straight after this. Guys, we're back now. This is the best part for everyone. Start, sub, sell. Right. Today, we have Paul Scholes, Steven Gerrard, and Lampard. You know the thing comes up. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, who we going with? Start, sub, and sell. Let me start with you. I start Lampard. You start Lampard? No. I start Gerrard. I sub Lampard. So where would Skulls go? You sell him, innit? You sell him. You get rid yeah, of him. I sell him. You will sell Skulls. Easy. Okay, keep that there. We're going to come back to your, your reasons why in a sec. Start sub and sell. I'm going to try and do this as unbiased as possible, yeah. You start Skulls. 
What's up, Gerard? Man, boy, I can go. Okay. What are your reasons for this is selling? Still. For selling, um, selling skulls? Yes. I can just only do one thing with skulls. Go on. Just play them in the middle with someone else. And uh, like I've only ever seen skulls do one thing, really, in my lifetime. He was an attacking goal scorer in the 90s. I was a baby. This is where this is where where um, I was a baby. And yeah. if he was an attacking like if he was, I don't think he would like, I don't know this, but I don't think he was as good a goal scorer as Lampard in his prime, if I could measure the two. I can't tell you that because Lampard one of the best goal he's the best goal scorer midfielder ever. Can we just throw and he did in it there. And, hold on. Wait, 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 part wait, of the goal we'll scorer Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll Big chunk of penalties. We'll come, okay, we'll wait, come, wait, 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 wait. We'll come, we'll and, come back, we'll and come back. Lampard was scoring goals in the age when he was like so he was scoring goals like 22, 23 he's got his numbers coming up when at the same age as when Scholes was doing it Lampard never really stopped like even when he was 29 30, 31, 32 when Scholes was retiring from international football so that's one excuse then he's lost his leg starts giving away fouls like that's the midfielder that I know so he's still a world class passer of the ball but so was Carrick and I wouldn't pick Carrick over Gerrard in his prime <laughs> <laughs> so just so the bed the carrot that I saw was just the, sorry the scores that I saw was just as good as carrot. So yeah, and that's that. For me, it, you're, you're for me, live your if you want to give me it. anything pre two thousand and two, keep it to yourself. <laughs> okay, cool. You've gone to start with lamps. No, no, start with scores. Sorry. Skulls. So and sub, Gerard. Gerard. Why sell Lampard? Scholes and Gerard offer me everything that Lampard has. Fair enough. What, what else can I get? Okay, maybe a penalty here and there. You're being cheap. Am I being cheap? You are being cheap. Am man. I being That's cheap? That's a cheap shot. How is it a cheap shot? Lampard's a great goal scorer. Penalties okay. Are no, he's a good penalty taker. Cool. Scholes could have taken penalties if he wanted to. Yeah, but he didn't. Exactly. That's his problem. How is that his problem? That's when his problem. he wasn't That's the designated why he's penalty not as good taker. as Lampard. Because he wasn't the de- designated penalty taker. That's a big thing. How? What do you mean? You're one nil down. We had a world class strikers in our team that could do the job. Yeah, and Scholes is supposed to be a world class centre mid. He should be able to do that job. But on, on your point, <laughs> on your point, he, he could, no, there's no, no reason he could. On your point, and this could be neither here nor there. But mm. when you when you look at a lot of pros at the top level, mm. and 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 you ask them who the most gifted player they've come come up against, and the best one of the best players they've come up against, a lot of them say Paul Scholes. Yeah, that's not a coincidence. We've discussed this, isn't it? Many a time, but whenever when Scholes was playing and they were giving out awards for best centre mids, none of them were voting for him because you don't have none of them. When they was giving out world player, not but, world player of the but, year, when they was giving out team of the year, so there's two slots for centre mids. But none of them also voted for for, for Carrick, and Carrick was mm-hmm. Carrick's one of the, the top midfielders of our generation. No, no, yeah, no, but he's, he's not. The, he's the not. Carrick shout. Out, not, he's not the, the no. Carrick shout. I can 100 <laughs> percent guarantee not. you was him throwing shade. It was. It was big. Big, big time shade because we know that Carrick and Scholes were not of the same ilk. Yes, Carrick is very good, but he's no Paul Scholes. We know that 100%. Just so you know, Carrick is heavily underrated. Yeah, heavily. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Michael Carrick, but they're still different types. Clearly of not that mids. big of a fan. Because Why? you think that there's a big level between Carrick's passing level. At, well, just that's all Scholes could do at a certain point. Was pass. Scholes is upper echelon. He couldn't, well, he, he couldn't tackle... He couldn't chase, man. Scholes has could... never been able to tackle. All right, then. So Scholes, there was... No, no, Scholes has never been when able to When has tackling Lampard, been a Lampard big Lampard part can't... of being a world-class No, no problem. I'm just saying there was, there was weaknesses in Scholes game everybody knew. So it's not like Scholes was the perfect central midfielder. He was good at keeping and, the ball. And, and, and Lampard... like he was good in possession. <coughs> Are you saying Lampard didn't really have a weakness then? Okay, if, nah. if, you, if you took away the what? goal scoring... I'm not saying on, that. Hold oh, on. Okay. If you took away the goal scoring from Lampard... No, but he was elite. Okay, no, no, no. He's an elite goal scorer. Elite, so was Miroslav Klose, mm-hmm. but we'll never call him world class. I don't do, know that. Do, do you it depends on where you are. I'd never do, watched do, him that do, do much. You know what I'm if you ask him in Germany, was he a world class striker? They might no, say, no, yeah. the general consensus is that he was a very, very good goal scorer. But, but the point, the point I'm trying to make is that if you take away the goal scoring, why would what, I do that? What did Lampard offer you? Because no, this, this, Lampard not, didn't score every it's game. It's not like Lampard was the best goal. He was the greatest ever midfield goal scorer this country has ever seen. We haven't seen a better one. No one makes. has scored more goals than Lamb. So it's not like I so, think oh, he's uh, very, very because good. of goals alone. He's the, he's the. You're not taking so, no, 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 the no. highest. The point I'm trying like, to make. Ha- okay, the you don't point qu- I'm trying to make. You, you don't question Alan. Yeah, no, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. The point I'm trying to make here is that is goals how you decide 
like it, that's that's your no, thing. That's not how, got it seems that's like not how I decided. It seems like I'm it. saying that this is Lampard's skill. So they all three of them have a different skill. I think okay. Gerard is like a more like because he's such a passionate leader. You know what I mean? And he because of the games that he did, he made for Liverpool. He didn't win it, like lead them to a title. He didn't lead Liverpool to a title, and I think that's like something you can say. Maybe his ability wasn't as good as Lampard or Scholes. You can actually question that maybe, maybe, or maybe he should have just left Liverpool. Maybe his ability was good enough and he could have left Liverpool. I think that that was the case. Some might say that, in fact, a lot of people say this, that England started to go downhill when Scholes retired from football. But yet... They never won nothing with Scholes. Yeah, no, they never won no, nothing no, with Gerard and Lampard. No, but mm-hmm. they should have. Because if they had the right... Because that's the golden generation. If they had the right leadership... They would have. They would have won something. The golden I'm, generation, two thousand six. I'm sure. I'm sure. The golden generation. Scores weren't there. No, you had that. He was there two thousand two. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, the generation that had the the, the Shearers, the generation that had the Sheringhams. But oh, the night. <coughs> you, you don't remember that? The, I told that you pre two thousand two. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 don't, and, and don't the Gazers. But but what what killed it was that they wanted to but accommodate Lampard and weren't there the personal and, problems and if, in that squad and as if, well? And if they if they're so good, why is it that they weren't able to? Play together. If they were I so think it was just three different kinds of centre mids. It's like having. So, wait, what are your reasons for for starting scores? For starting scores, I have no reason to suggest otherwise. He won trophies with all of Lampard's goal scoring ability. Lampard won trophies. All Not trophies. as many as scores. No, but he, he won, won every trophy. Many. He won trophies. Okay, cool. He won for, every trophy for that's all the goal scoring and he ability. Got more personal accolades. For, all the goal scoring because he scored goals. That's his. That's not my problem. Because he scored goals. That's not <laughs> I'm my. I'm not saying problem. that's your problem. He has personal awards okay. for being a very. Whilst he was still I'm doing that, the thing whilst is, he yeah. was still doing that, scores were still mentioned as being no, one of the best. Were, you couldn't I'm just were men- remove these, poor scores from a team. Like, I'm t- these like you put poor scores into okay. a team. What I would say, what I would say to this, because we have to round this up, and I think it's clear to see who I think uh, who I would start. But he came back from retirement, you know, and, no, and to win us the league. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, with boots okay. from Sports Direct. Okay, so, so this this is what I'm going to say. Forty pounds. This is what I'm going to say. I have never ever seen Gerard or Lampard boss a midfield and control a game. On that note, guys, um, you're joking. So that will start sub and sell. Let us know what you think, and um, we'll be back with the week with the weekend preview. <laughs> Welcome back to Team Talk TV. Now we're going to get into the weekend preview. We're going to start off with the biggest game of the weekend. Liverpool and Manchester, Manchester City. City. Guys, who are we going with in this one? Liverpool. Straight Liverpool win? Straight Liverpool. Why? At Anfield. Attack, attack, attack. It's all about outscoring them. They're going to do it. Don't get me wrong. I feel like me saying that has kind of like underestimated City. But this Liverpool side are too strong, man. Virgil van Dijk. Worth every single dime of that seventy-five million. He he is the difference. Okay, um, judging by what I'm hearing now, are Liverpool your favourites for the league? Yes. Oh, they are. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, um, Liverpool, Man City. I'm gonna go City because Henderson keeps starting for Liverpool. You know what? <laughs> you know what? You're laughing. You're laughing, but a couple of weeks back on, on this show, um, I brought up the fact that whether or not Liverpool's undoing will be the fact that they continue to play Henderson. And would you say this game will be is going to be either won or lost in midfield? Yeah. I'm a Henderson fan. I don't know I what know. you want me to say. I'm I a know. big Henderson oh, fan. Oh, I know. And I still think he's had a better two seasons than Matic. <laughs> so... Cut the show. No, because obviously you want to bait me into it. Cool. But... Right now, Henderson's done. He needs, to, he needs to take a cool... He's finished. And he's the kind of man that will kill his body for the team. To the detriment of the team. And I think that's what he's doing. What did I say this guy was? Letters. That's your... All right. Okay. V- vendettas aside, but I just think... One that, job. Because they okay, keep okay, doing that. Because they keep starting Henderson. I think if they start him, they'll lose that game. If they start him, they'll... Yeah. Okay. Because he has no other dimensions to his game. And um, so, we're going for a City win if they start him. Yeah. Um, Liverpool to score or just literally just straight blitz. Uh, no, Liverpool should score. It's gonna be a blockbuster. Liverpool, it should be a. It will be a live game. I okay. look it, but I'm going for City. I just think City. obviously Pep is. This is a game Pep loves. Yeah, and he's preparing for it a lot harder than than he oh, would have last season. There's, and Klopp, been, there's been too much Klopp love. Okay, it. and you're saying Liverpool win? Klopp wants this. This is the game that I'm sure he wakes up to and goes, "Let's get it." Man. Okay, cool. Love that. Next game we're gonna go on to is. Crystal Palace against Wolves. Palace all the way. 
Yeah. All the way to Palace. Palace, all the way. Sticking with Palace. Sticking with Palace. Wow. Are we not rating Wolves? Oh, I appreciate the work that Wolves are doing. Especially after, you know, they come to Old Trafford and did what they did. They just lifted up your your skirts. (laughs) 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 No, but I'm sticking, yeah, Palace. But Palace all the way. Wolf. Wan-Bissaka. If you're watching this, please. That's right back in the league right now. Yep. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's not a joke. I mean it, I mean it. I mean it's not it. a joke. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wan-Bissaka, best right back in the league. Top three. I'm, I'm just... I love him, I love him. Top, top just, three, top three, top three. I love him. Top, top three, three. Wan-Bissaka, I'm telling you. So, very quickly, when you don't say this, are we talking on form? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, whatever way you want it. On my, just how my heart feels. What, whatever way you, you know want it. I just like the way this the guy plays. This season, undisputed. He's had a good year. After, since you come, in, since you come to since that palace, he's had a good year. But has he, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get into guys on in the comments. Please, one leave, Bissaka, please one, leave, leave, honestly, leave that. Leave. Let me know, one Bissaka. You know what? One this one minute clip that's going on Instagram. <laughs> let me know <laughs> if one Bissaka has is the best right back in the league right top now. Three, top, top three, three right oh, in the top league. three right backs in the league right now. That's an easy. And I'm not talking about on form, everything. That's but anyway, an easy one still. Also, now that we're gonna also talk about United and Newcastle. United and Newcastle. United are going to win it. United. You think United are going to win it? Newcastle are a shite club. They're <sighs> done. They're not going anywhere. I think we're going to draw. But do, do you, don't you think that with United's form no. and everything going there's into There's nothing it, that Newcastle... If Newcastle get a point versus United... We're going to... They're, then they're Mourinho getting a point. is done. They're getting a point. Mourinho is... Because no, Mourinho I've said out, no time way. and time again that at home, we are clueless. I hear that. No matter Absolutely how bad, clueless. bad United can be, they cannot... Lose. The thing is, drop we're going to go one nil up, and then that's it. After so, that, so you think it's a draw? I think it's a draw. Do you think it's that whole thing that when you not score, you literally just just stop playing? Literally, literally that. Or we'll get to the seventieth minute, it'll be nil nil, mm. and then that's when everything literally just falls apart. I even want to put money on Sanchez. To we score. try to attack, and that's, then that's it's when new, it's Newcastle. The, the back up, oh, mate. It's Newcastle. We should have beat Wolves. Okay, cool. Well, should have beat Derby. Well, those are the games we're going to do for our... Um, Derby. <laughs> those are the games we're going to do for our weekend preview, you guys. Derby. It's been a pleasure. Um, obviously, you guys have your own podcast. Um, do you want to plug your podcast? Never Losing TV. The, that's the podcast, the YouTube channel. SoundCloud. All of it. All of it. Maybe Follow us on the Twitter, Never Losing TV. Play Sunday 11 aside as well. Make sure you look out for the videos. Come down, watch us at Kidbrook. Kidbrook. Was it Samuel Montague you sent up? Well done. Yeah. Great. Love that. And guys, just keep liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, everything. Hashtag Team Talk TV. We are out. Thank you very much. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching our video this week. Remember, please subscribe, share, comment, like, and watch all our other videos, including this one there, that one there. But remember, press the subscribe button. Team Talk TV.